cheesy filled tortellini, Italian salami, variety of fresh chopped veggies, and of course a homemade Italian dressing to drizzle over the salad. Simple to throw together and a fun twist from a traditional pasta salad. This is a meal all in itself. First thing first, the dressing. You can simply use a store bought, but this homemade dressing is simple and the flavors are spot on for this salad. In a jar, add in 2 thirds a cup of olive oil, an eighth a cup of white vinegar, an eighth a cup of lemon juice, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of dried basil, and one teaspoon of dried oregano, half teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of sugar, and half a teaspoon of dried parsley, last but not least, a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper. Put the lid on tightly and give that a shake. If you want to use fresh herbs, you most certainly can. I recommend using three times the amount of fresh herbs to dry herbs, so one tablespoon of fresh herbs to one teaspoon of dry herbs. This dressing is full of freshness and it's one that I just love to have on hand. Now on to the tortellini pasta. We're gonna cook that based off of the package instructions. I'm using 20 ounces of tortellini pasta and I'm gonna place that in boiling water. Cook the pasta to al dente and rinse the tortellini pasta to stop it from cooking any further. Transfer the drained cooled pasta to a dish and right away drizzle about half of the dressing over the pasta. Give that a toss to ensure the pasta is coated and it won't stick together. To that, add in eight ounces of fresh mozzarella and I'm using these cute little mozzarella balls. Add in four ounces of sliced black olives, four ounces of salami cubes, one green or red bell pepper that has been seeded and diced. Add that to your bowl and then let's chop up a half a cup of diced red onion, one diced zucchini that you dice up into about a quarter inch slices. And I love adding about a fourth a cup of pepperoncinis that have been sliced up. You can buy them pre-sliced and you can also choose what level of heat you want. But if you don't even like pepperoncinis, feel free to leave them out. Make this salad how you want to. Our last topping are little tomatoes. Whether you use grape or cherry, go ahead and have those so they're more bite-sized pieces. Add those ingredients to the bowl, dress the pasta salad with the remaining dressing, stir to combine to make sure all of the ingredients are coated with the dressing. If you wanna add in some grilled chicken or steak, I say go for it, I love doing that. I'm gonna pop this in my fridge and serve it cold, and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.